Oh, we're out here for a two-week update on the fly rower with two L's. The cheapest 100 amp hour LifePo 4 batteries that I could possibly find that came with chargers, each one. They also have USB ports on the front of them. 2.1 amp USB ports, USB-A. Well, it's been two weeks. We've been driving them around. They've been charged a few times. I think the farthest that we've ran them down is uh, about 13 flat. That's kind of rough. We need to do something with this. I need to make a box if you can see the dust and just dust and dirt accumulating from driving around on these things. They're not going to last long out here in the world, especially this bottom one. It's got mud on it already. You know? So something's got to be done quick with these. Put them in some sort of watertight case when they're not being used and then be able to open it up. But I want to do like a drill case. Kind of like, like that one. You know? But when you want an empty case, they're not around. When you, when they're just, you're tripping over them all the time, they're everywhere. But when you want one, you know, you can't find one. So, the plan is to put them into a box. And I guess, I guess we're just going to duct tape over top of the on-off switches. And maybe even over top of the USB for now until a later date when we might need to use them then we'll uncover them and it'll keep this all you know fairly watertight i'm wondering if we should put some dielectrical grease in here it probably wouldn't hurt to it, put dielectrical grease into the charge port at least because this is not a weatherproof you know connection here so we're going to try to make them work as long as they can we'll get these in some dry containment maybe get some extra life out of them but i don't really know how many miles you're going on it it seems like it goes pretty good with weight on it without seems to just power right along so they were good enough that we we ordered three more for this cart that thing <laughs> anyway the exact same part numbers and all on the models as far as I can tell I think they are but they have a different you know cutting corners they don't have a a post like the other one it's just a threaded boss and they were definitely packed different the other one was a lot more foam in there this is a lot less foam so they cut the price down that way so I thought maybe these things were just it looks like the exact same chargers so i thought maybe they were just like overstock like you know that's why they were so cheap is that these things were just sitting on the shelf and they wanted to get rid of them so it was kind of deal but you see how these ones actually have battery posts on them which i like in case i want to do something different with them but they probably had problems with this model because people were using them as starting batteries because they could hook them up straight to a regular battery post on a on a vehicle and they probably had all kinds of warranty recalls so that's probably why they changed that up also to be cheaper right because how much did that save by getting rid of that is it even brass like do we even know is is it just pop metal aluminum like i don't know it might be brass but it's very suspect anyway we're gonna get these on charge Seems like they got the same configuration as the last ones. It's just the post is different. Something tells me that's different too, isn't it? Yeah, see? Yep, this is actually a molded battery with a handle. Hmm, so it's a little different. At least we got three of the one style and three of the other style. So hopefully they're just as good. We will find out. We got two golf carts going for the price of one. I know that. Can't beat that. That sounds like a deal in my in my eyes. And I can get this thing out, start using it. And 
get it out of my way so I get this space back. We might have to find a place to store all these gas cans though. This is not an affiliated video. I bought these with my own money. All right. But I don't know. We'll see what six months brings or a year later on down the road. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to have problems with these chargers at some point. But I would bet that you can probably get them for like $18 to $20 online. You know what I mean? For a replacement one, I bet. But uh, check these out. Fly Rower with two L's. Cheapest ones I've been able to find. $200 a piece with a charger. Unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. I mean... I've been looking at lithium for the past three to five years and I just couldn't touch it because it was way, way out of my price range. But this stuff's starting to come down. I don't think you're going to get this style ones anymore. This must have been the last three of the old ones, I guess. At least we got lucky and didn't get two old ones and two new ones, I guess. Or is this the old style? This is way cheaper. This has got to be the newer style less brass the handles way cheaper there's they don't have to mold the handle they don't have to make it two pieces it's just a strap right the packaging is cheaper there's less foam in it man they are cutting that price point right down right down i i don't even know how they can manufacture this put it on a boat ship it here store it truck it around for two hundred dollars it doesn't even make sense to me. Like, <laughs> I just, somebody can explain that to me. It's just crazy. Like, you, you, if you just think about the logistics of it, like, it's got to cost almost $400 to get this thing here. Built, transported. It's nuts. I don't know. All right, y'all. They're pretty good, though. We'll see how this new batch goes. Get them charging up. This is not an affiliated video. I bought these with my own money, all right? But I don't know. We'll see what six months brings or a year later on down the road. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to have problems with these chargers at some point. But I would bet that you can probably get them for like $18 to $20 online. You know what I mean? For a replacement one, I bet. But uh, check these out. Fly Rower with two L's. Cheapest ones I've been able to find. $200 a piece with a charger. Unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. I mean, I've been looking at lithium for the past three to five years. And I just couldn't touch it because it was way, way out of my price range. But this stuff's starting to come down. I don't think you're going to get this style ones anymore. This must have been the last three of the old ones, I guess. At least we got lucky and didn't get two... Old ones and two new ones, I guess. Or is this the old style? This is way cheaper. This has got to be the newer style. Less brass. The handle's way cheaper. There's, they don't have to mold the handle. They don't have to make it two pieces. It's just a strap, right? The packaging is cheaper. There's less foam in it. Man, they are cutting that price point right down. Right down. I, I don't even know how they can manufacture this. Put it on a boat, ship it here, store it, truck it around for $200. It doesn't even make sense to me. Like, <laughs> I just, somebody can explain that to me. It's just crazy. Like, you, you, if you just think about the logistics of it, like, it's got to cost almost $400 to get this thing here. Built, transported. It's nuts. I don't know. All right, y'all. They're pretty good, though. We'll see how this new batch goes. Get them charging up. Loading for the flea. Charged them up. They seem pretty good. Now we just got to get them in the cart and get it, get it back running. I did notice, look at this. One of the chargers is different. It's almost like the plastic cover is just missing off this one like it got broken off probably looks just like that in here huh